Brush up on your dental care with today's professional featuring Lima Dental Associates, where you'll always receive state-of-the-art technology with state-of-the-heart care. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's professional. Today, again, in the studio with us, Dr. Wesley Shanklin from these Lima Dental Associates. And you want to continue talking about yeah, gingivitis? Yeah, good morning, George. We were talking last week about gingivitis and some periodontal problems. I'd like to continue today talking about periodontal problems and how to work with some of these. But... We ended the show last week talking about electric toothbrushes. Mm -hmm. You know, electric toothbrushes are wonderful, and they're all kinds. There's Sonic Care, and there's uh, Oral B has one. You know, truly, all of them I find are just as good, and you can buy them relatively inexpensively now at uh, at Walmart and places like yeah. that. But electric toothbrushes really clean the teeth, but massage the gums well to decrease gingivitis, which is the first form of periodontal disease, which will evolve. Gingivitis will evolve into periodontal disease if you don't clear that up and take care of Which yourself. Which becomes well. very serious. Then. Well, very serious because a lot of people can lose teeth, they lose bone, uh, and periodontal disease now has been shown to demonstrate some chemical mediators from that disease that go through the body and can affect the heart, George, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys especially. So now we know, and our internist uh, colleagues realize, that, and cardiologist colleagues realize that a lot of this systemic problems in the heart and the liver and the lungs and places are coming from the periodontal disease. Go to your veterinarian with your dog or cat. They'll show you pictures of that. Yeah. So it does happen from the gums, that periodontal disease. And the best way to prevent that is good home care. Hmm. A good home care, brushing your teeth a couple times a day for a couple minutes of time and flossing and seeing your hygienist or your dentist. But George, not just that, but also some medications. Uh, sometimes we can tell if a woman's pregnant before she knows it because her gums start to swell. I have several times asked a gal, is there a chance you're pregnant? Because we want to know that for x-rays or medications. <laughs> and she'd laugh and say no, and she'd come back and say, Doc, you are right. Oh. So we can tell people take certain medications that dries their mouth that causes periodontal disease and gingivitis. Also people that grind and clench their teeth a lot do that. Yeah. When they do that, they knock the gums loose and cause inflammation, which cause the gums to swell. Gingivitis, if that doesn't have improvement, you're going to lose bone and gum around those teeth, and ultimately you may lose your teeth. So it's quite a serious thing. And everybody just seemed to think that it wasn't until... Well, that's true. Because, you know why? Because most people don't die of dentally related diseases. But this does cause cardiac problems, liver problems, kidney problems. So you need to see your dentist or hygienist twice a year and take good care of yourself. Terrific advice. Any final words? Yes, sir. Keep smiling, sharing, and caring. Thank you very much. Thank you, George. To nice you. to be here. That's our report for today.